Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. Do you believe in fate? Do you believe you can shape your destiny? First, let's define these two words. Fate can be a countable noun when we refer to things that happen to a person. We can use the word fate to comment that a particular outcome could be better or worse. I couldn't imagine a better fate. That's a fate worse than death. Such a tragic fate. Do you recall who Amelia Earhart was? She was a famous pilot who broke world records. Supposedly, she crashed into the Pacific Ocean along with her navigator, but her fate remains unknown. We don't know what happened to her, for sure. Fate can be an uncountable noun when we refer to the power that controls our lives. It's like a predetermined plan that the universe has for us. People who believe in fate say that we can't change it. You can't fight fate, man. It's fate, guys. It's not fate. It's a mistake. Sometimes we look back on the past and we think that fate led to a certain outcome. Fate brought them together. It was fate. It was meant to be. Many consider the word destiny to be a synonym for fate. The meanings overlap. Like fate, destiny can be a countable or uncountable noun. But with destiny, there's a focus on the future. It is your destiny. It is your destiny. I'm your density. I mean, your destiny. We can talk about shaping our destiny or having a sense of destiny. It's also common to use the passive structure, be destined to do something, be destined for something. Do you feel destined to be poor? Do you feel destined to be rich? Maybe you feel destined for big things, great things. Or perhaps you always knew that you were destined for a career in business or fashion. The kinds of expressions that people use reflect their beliefs. If you feel that you have no control over a situation, you can say, it's out of my hands. Or, que sera sera. And yes, we say this with our American English accent, que sera sera. It means whatever will be, will be. Doris Day made this saying famous in a song. You can find it online. It's out of my hands. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's out of my hands. My philosophy of life has gotten me through some very rough times. Let me share it with you. Que sera, sera. When people accept that a bad outcome is coming or already happened and they can't change anything at this point, they may say, it is what it is. Well, what can you do? Whatever at this point. It is what it is. There's also a saying with a swear word, which I won't say aloud, but you may see this on a mug, on a t-shirt, or a bumper sticker. If someone is a person of faith, it may be natural for them to say, God willing, when they talk about their hopes for the future. They hope that they will be spared problems. They hope to avoid problems so that they can have their desired outcome. God willing will get the loan. Their children are in college and should finish in the next couple of years, God willing. The speaker means they hope that God will allow these events to unfold favorably. Clearly, I have had a very serious accident, but I will recover, God willing. Without any reference to religion or faith, you can always talk about luck. I have another video on that topic. I'll put the link in the video description. But for now, I can share one expression from that lesson. Knock on wood. 
Have you heard it? For example, knock on wood, we'll get the loan. Or hopefully we'll get the loan, knock on wood. This refers to the superstition of knocking on wood three times for good luck. If we're lucky, oh, knock on wood. So what's your position on fate? Do you believe that things happen for a reason? Do you believe you can shape your destiny? Let me know in the comments. And if there is such thing as fate, then may fate be kind to you all. You're forging your own path, making your own destiny. I mean, isn't it time to make your own destiny? We'll end here. Please remember to like and share the video if you found the lesson useful. Remember, you can join as a YouTube member to gain more out of your online studies. A special thank you to all my current YouTube members and patrons on Patreon. As always, thanks for watching and happy studies. I'd like to say a special thank you to a kind-hearted patron. Kathy pledged $2 a month. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Turn on those notifications.